guys let me move to the to general report now let me show that you know um how these guys have destroyed our country this is the report this is the report let me put it on the screen here i'm going to take you guys to um you know uh, one of our brother did a proper analysis which i would uh I'd rather use but um it gives a breakdown of all the the amount of stealing the money we will call the revenue the the money will disappear all of that which is right here some of these you know uh, uh the billions and billions and billions but i'm going to go to our brother's page right here this is brother ibrahim sori kroma i'm just going to use his analysis for the purposes of this live you know, Audit Sierra Leone Report 2021 takeaway is the criminality involving 1.9 trillion Leons stolen. So 2021, the report say, and again, don't, don't forget, right, the Auditor General who we have right now, Aziz, is not qualified for even perform the function that he's performing right now. For almost two years now, this man is not even been, you know, a, 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 Parliament did not even ratify this man and approve this man. Lara Taylor Pierce is still a bona fide and legitimate Auditor General. This is Lara Taylor Pierce enjoys widespread support for her professionalism. The local association of auditors has asked its members not to accept the job if it's offered to any of them. And now the International Organization of Supreme Audit Institutions, also known as INTOSAI, has come out in support of her. Aina Gorison heads INTOSAI's development initiative. So who signed the letter and what do they want the government of Sierra Leone to do? The letter is co-signed by three parties, Secretary General of the International Organization of Supreme Audit Institutions, by myself as the head of the InterSci Development Initiative, and by the head, the senior executive officer of the African Organization of Supreme Audit Institutions. The background for, for the letter is, of course, the untimely suspension of the Auditor General and Deputy Auditor General of Sierra Leone, something that we take extremely seriously, as independent government auditing and oversight is a cornerstone of democracy and adherence to the rule of law. And we believe strongly that the recent developments appear both opportunistic and politically motivated, throwing this into jeopardy given the fact that this is being happening just before the launch of the 2020 audit report. And what do you want the government of Sierra Leone to do? Well, we are asking for them to reinstate both the Auditor General and the Deputy Auditor General immediately. And we are also rallying behind the calls from both the national and international civil society organizations, academia, professional accountancy organizations and citizens who have called for the same. We also hope that uh, development partners and donors in Sierra Leone will, will rally behind this. Well, the government of Sierra Leone has instituted a panel to investigate uh, Ms. Lara Taylor Pierce. Uh, shouldn't you be waiting to hear what the, that particular panel finds first? She was suspended before the panel was, uh, was actually established. And none of the reasons that have come forth uh, so far in terms of her misconduct and performance indicates that it is any gross uh, misconduct of her duty, which is uh, what is basically there for her sacking in the Constitution. But the government is investigating a civil servant. It has the right to do that, surely? Or are you implying, or by your action, saying that the government of Sierra Leone has no basis upon which to be suspicious of anything that Ms. Lara Taylor Pierce may have done? Obviously, the government has the right to, to investigate its civil servants. At the same time, for a Supreme Audit Institution, like the, the, the Audit Office of Sierra Leone, to be independent, the Auditor General needs to have immunity in the discharge of her duties. And we have principles guarding uh, best practices for independent Supreme Audit institutions. And as I said, we have not seen anything in the arguments that have been put forward suggesting gross misconduct. So we would also like the government to actually come out in the open with the reasons and the rationale behind this. And are you suspicious of the government in this regard? Do you think that they have no reason or no basis? Well, having known Lara and her high standing and her track record, uh, I'm in no doubt that she's a person of in incredible integrity and courage. Uh, we've seen her in, over many years uh, challenging the government through her investigations and audit reports. And as I said, the, the timing of this, just ahead of the release of the 2020 audit report, there are also stories uh, that have been in the media of Sierra Leone suggest that uh, there is corruption and, and mismanagement is highly opportunistic and suspicious. You've made a very strong call here. Why are you taking it so uh, seriously as uh, the uh, International Organization of Supreme Audit Institutions? We are unfortunately seeing around the world that uh, democratic backsliding is happening in a lot of countries and that the audit offices and the independent oversight is, is being challenged increasingly. So for us, it's extremely important to, to fight for the principles of independent oversight and be very clear on what we expect in terms of that. 
And for, for us, uh, what is happening now in Sierra Leone, as I said, is, is extremely concerning. So what are the implications for Sierra Leone if the government refuses to budge? Well, if the Auditor General is ultimately fired, I think it sends a very strong signal that, that in Sierra Leone, independent oversight is, is not welcomed. And also, I mean, reporting from, from the media of Sierra Leone, it's very clear to us that the audit service basically stands out as one of the few organizations that still have been managed to remain independent and provide uh, independent oversight during these years. So I think it would send a very, very strong and bad signal. That's Enna Gorison from the International Organization of Supreme Audit Institutions. And we approached the government of Sierra Leone for a response. And a spokesperson told us, said they'd rather wait for the official investigation to conclude before responding. The head of Salem's delegate. I want you guys to think about that. Well, that is why I'm showing you this, because I want you guys to see this. 1.9 trillion, which is 200 million dollars. Nine disappear. That the money we lost, thief. 200 million dollars. Think about everything we can do with 200 million dollars. The education budget alone, which is 22 percent, is 100 million dollars a year. Of course, teachers are not getting paid. But $200 million and disappear. Ying, quiet. Sierra Leoneans, think about our health care. Think about you know, our road network, right? Think about the sufferings of our people. Think about the, the, the rise of prices of basic commodities, goods and services every day in the country. Think about the ike of in fear, the shortage of fear. Think about the price of rice, the price of cement, all of these. Think about all of that. But $200 million loss. $200 million disappear. Then we, we continue. $1.9 trillion on approved expenditure. We mean say they spend over $130 million on, on approved expenditure. Then. $130 million. So the first one, now $200 million disappear. It lost. Yeah. Added to that, another $1.3 trillion with $130 million. Andy. Disappear back on ex- on expense expenditure. Plus, on top of that, back fifty eight billion. That's about five point something million dollar on allocated head of expenditure exceeding budget amount. Seventy six billion. That's about seven point six million dollar illegal payments without proof. Payment they will not get proof of what they pay for. They just say they pay. What they pay? Seven point six million dollar. Then forty-two point three billion not traced in Asikuda. Forty-two billion. And we, 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 cash box will tell me say we can multiply this by about um by by, by five. That's what he was telling me. Say by five, so that back the other over two hundred million because it's a taxable. You know what money we forgot through that the tax revenue you will forget. We the name for budget for. These are the things we're saying. And that then we brother move further. It's in there. 41.13 billion. That's a four point something million dollar. Civil aviation cash not confirmed. So inside the, the airport, four mil plus million dollar disappear back. They're not confirming name for confirmer. Inside the airport, four million dollar. Well, of course, me, Alexa, for them put up by the Leos, 41 billion Leos. Then they done back 1.4 billion, not traced. $1 million, $1.4 million, not traced. They're not for tracer from the airports. They're not tracer. Then 27 billion illegal waiver. What they say now, illegal waiver them, they waive people, they wave, hey, no travel, not pay this, not pay that. Over 27 billion, 2 point something million dollar. Then 6.1 billion in arrears. From PRA and NMA omitted. This then omits this from the record. Six billion Leons when a six million dollar landy. In order to record, they never for no side pass, I pass, I know pass. NMA National Mining Agency, all of them one in the. Then eighty three point two four billion Leons when they back now eight point two million dollar under reported by Natcom. Natcom eight million dollar yeah no report there under reporter. Then they done back eight point nine billion. No receipt from Natcom. 8.9 billion euros, 8 million dollars back. No receipt. 
Then approximately 670,000 losses from diplomatic missions. All we embassies, they, you know, $670,000 disappear. Yeah. Guys, this is just a breakdown. You know, it's easy for us to just come and analyze these things. But think about the repercussions on our people. Think about the sufferings on Sierra Leoneans. I want you guys to reflect on that. Think about everything we can do with them when you're already lost our country. Think about all of that. Let's reflect, Sierra Leoneans. We get a moral responsibility to ask ourselves these fundamental questions. These are the things I'm saying. We all have to get involved in these things. It's too much. Look at the pains of our people. Look how we dilapidated, you know, infrastructure in that country. They road no better, nothing or All of these are things where we should be concerned about, guys. Why do we have opposition leaders? In an effective country now, who side the opposition serious? All of these people in these parasitals, all the money, they for someone, everybody for coming at the well of parliament. Honorable Chaiko can use section 86, subsection 2 of the constitution. To bring answers to the people. These guys should do this for we people there. In a serious democracy, these guys should come and answer. They for call, they for someone, the people they for come answer how the money pass. Look at this. Look at this. All the money with the loss. I want you guys to look at the expenditure. Look at in 10 years of the APC, cement was at 40,000 leons. Today it's 130,000 leons. Rice na be 200,000. Today it's 600,000. Dollar na 730,000. Today na 1.8 million, almost 2 million leons for dollar. One dollar. Petrol na be 6,000. Today it's 20,000. It's plus more because people have to buy Jabu price sometimes. Uh, Edsa, people they buy 1,000 today, now na 3,000 if not more. Guys, this is why in a serious country where you get serious opposition, when you look at this Auditor's General Report, the leaders of the opposition, and we call Honorable Cherry Kuko because he's APC, he is the leader of the opposition, if for salvage we country in, in resources, now in responsibility for protect Sierra Leoneans them. Now if for someone and call all the leaders of them parastatals there, who say their money they are so lost, if for ask Abbas Bundu using section 86 to, 20% of members of parliament then can write a letter say we want for someone and the speaker shall within 14 days honor their, 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 that, 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 that call they would make. But look at what is happening in our country. When you look at the Auditor's General Report with the breakdown that our brother gave us here. Look at this. All these monies that are gone missing. Eh? 1.9 trillion, which is almost $200 million, disappear. But guys, look at our people that are sick in Sierra Leone. Look at this. Look at these people. They don't get help. They want help. Look at this. My name is Stevie Mustafa Sissi. Of course, you're a 33-year-old guy. Very young guy. Uh, I come make this video on behalf of me and my family. Uh, I got this young problem. This year problem, he, um, where I go to the scan, I go, I go to the scan at church. Um, they tell me, say, my results come out, my results, they say, I get eye cancer. And eye cancer, that this country, everybody knows, say, for now, we know the treat eye cancer in this country. According to, they say, East Africa and Ghana, no one recommended with cancer treatment. So now, the USA a big problem in the country now that the money, where, where I ask how much money, but they say now $5,000. The $5,000 is almost 60 to something million. The unfortunate and sad part of it, for now, me and my family know you are for that money. Now I make a weekly video. Whosoever is church would I get would I get her because I got a daughter. Would I get her 
Braga Brother, Ut Gorage Okul, Braga Fambul. Please, whosoever, what are the location, whosoever, whosoever you do, whatever you say, what you do, and they make this public video for for fleet on behalf of everyone who will help me for do this uh, Ghana trip. They will say it cost $5,000. So, all uh, you know, humanitarian people, uh, everybody, both who home and abroad work they with me and beyond one and the according to the doctor they only give me less than two months otherwise I'd lose my life say because the swelling of the eye will continue when she says one of the other eye the 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 mug my brain will go live to death and so I'm too young for that what I believe what you God no will do, but they exist. What God can't do does not exist. And I feel the landing up to them to keep me. And I also to send this message. Oh, thank you. Uh, I mean, uh, who are the person we, we pass away again? Which one of them? Um, 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 Sise. Sise with the eye problem. Oh, um, man, the young, the guy with the yeah, eye Yeah, the guy. And, uh, and well, with the cancer, the eye cancer, and he left a PQ and then Bridget. I think yeah, Bridget boy. is like three years old or so. Yeah, he go pass away in a McKinney, and he gets a young wife, when a student, uh, where he says, you know, we'll just get on the money. We say, you know, we can go start a business, do something, you know, and then we'll take care of Bridget in school, pay um, school fees for Bridget for a whole year, and uh, we'll let her know, say, if Bridget do well in school, we will continue for pay school fees, but we want to see results. So that's... that's right. Family then, when I see this woman, I name Auntie Nasu, Nasi Konko Ede. Now, in breast, they at this breast, they don't have more than two years. They don't have, they don't pass pass with that. Say, no way, we're not able to get solution it. So now, it they bleed through in breast. This problem, it don't worst. And we know they, for let this problem solve it. So if anybody get away, let it help we. We they ask for help. Now see Konko Ede. And in name Auntie Nasu. And me your auntie. Maybe they send this voice me and my name Alfred Senesi. So please. So somebody want to reach now. How you call to go to reach now? Well, you go call me line. When I zero tiggy tiggy nine two two tiggy five seven. Or zero seven four zero zero two five two seven. Nasi Konko with the the person who can't see Konko chief down. Nasi Konko Sam ten B D E C road. Nade with the. So now this woman is the seriously suffer. A big good a big. If anybody get away for letting help, letting help. Let it help. I mean, I lost life. Um. But you look at the auditor's general report with the breakdown that our brother gave us here. Look at this. All these monies that are gone missing. Eh? 1.9 trillion, which is almost $200 million, disappear. But guys, look at our people that are sick in Sierra Leone. It don't worst. But then let's look at the money that will disappear. Look at the money where they disappear from the Auditor General report. The Auditor General, we're not a legal Auditor General, right? But look at the amount of money that is disappearing, but we cannot even provide care for these people. Can you imagine this, guys? Matter of fact, look at this other woman. She was struggling and suffering. And I don't know if this lady is alive. If you guys can cut some of these clips for me, share with people. Watch this lady. She was struggling. I don't know if she's alive. I mean, I'm in a Komara. We are residents in Juba. Momo Dubai. Juba. In a house. But... I don't get this problem, so then I woke up and they go for work. Now in the bike, the chain pots, the summer sold it to me. They go hit me in one big stone. This big stone now is a result of spine injury. I admit in an emergency, I did it for three weeks. 
Madame Sidon said, and Robert will be pissed with the infamous Connaught. Connaught self entire the level, the sort of the septemisi, the case, the Robert will be an air. Or less, if I get family, they will get money for support me. I mean, if you send a joke, but when I discharge, I try for seeing another surgeon, then I do for anything hospital. The same story they tell me, say, this time they don't dislocate when the L4 and L5 don't dislocate. And now, it don't become a result of me hip back, don't be affected. And it three years this, I'm not able to put the soul of my foot and go for work. I'm not able to sit up straight, I'm not able to sit down for long, I'm not able to sit down for long, I'm not able to sit down for long. Either I'm able to work for long. I'm able to for the sake of God. I'm not able to sit down for the sake of God. With two guard picking the, the big one, if I go second year and I call it because of this scenario, it don't become too about this small one. It's a, every day they go for every day in school for go big, where they deliver for the school fee. So I'm not sorry for me for the sake of God, this is a month of. <laughs> and by the way, this was in February of this year. This woman only suffered for three years. Find these guys. When I find this woman, guys, let's find her. Let's see. But let's see if she's going to yes. come along. <laughs> $22,000. America saved $16,000, $17,000 beside the ticket. India, they saved $10,000. The ticket, $1,500. Who said they didn't put that kind of money? They do you have to pay for the sake of God? So don't help me again, you know, so guys think about that and look at we are just general report for 2021 i'm not going back to 2020 2019 2018 oh i'm just going to stay 2021 200 million dollars disappear ying look at all the millions of dollars guys tell me we should not be able to provide adequate health care facilities for our people the Minister of Health, Austin Debbie, told us that they budget $9 million every year for critical cases like these. Look at the Auditor General report. Look at the amount of money within the loss. Tell me, guys. Is this something we should be quiet about? When I allow the members of parliament them for cost? They for good for roll free? The leaders of the opposition they for a roll? We then seek then get the access? And the citizens will vote them in, we get the power, the people, they suffer, they can't, they suffer so. I want you guys to reflect on these things, guys. When I look this other one, I show now all this because, you know, we have to relate this, them money with the lost, not relate to with people, but Africa, what, what is wrong with us as Africans? From the Dea Village, the Archive of Kodaduku District, and they cry to all, they cry to government, they left my government help me, and they cry to organization, they let them help me, and they cry to all the Muslims, they let them help me. But I don't see the police on this picture, they don't say that. I don't say this speech or this see guy the more than I don't say that. Most make I say back today. From what I say their picture there. See today. I don't see nobody where they see at the help. So they see because of I don't send paper and a number. So if you post you want to call me. You want to call me, you want to talk to me, you want to do anything, you want to call me. Be online 033 44 21 
0334-2191 and was up like that day. So if you post you want to help you back, money you should not get your tail over. If you call me, you should have a brother over. If you call me 078, your tail over is 078. Two one two six nine nine zero seven eight twenty one twenty one twenty six ninety nine. So if you post one call, if you post one for the any about if you send her from my dad or So if you post one head like uh, this morning issue. So back they were hand, but body don't do. For back for me do how? You start this so right now pass call the happy. That call the idea life. You know this week we be pass so we 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 don't see a day for that and that. This morning we be pass so we fish a for that that we do. But still a day I don't die. We are we fish all soon, but still day. So, we are not seeing the condition that the official line that they did that the brother get their line that he are temporary. So, as a lab guys, these are all recent videos because I have tons of them. These are all recent videos. As Africans, both salon people, and we say at some point it, it has to get to a point, you know. Revolutions are not born for nothing. You see, in 1979, when Ghana, John Jerry Rowling, seeing people um, for the very first time, he started traveling Ghana into the provinces. He saw the sufferings of the people. He saw the kinds of water they were drinking. He saw the lack of infrastructural development in that part of the country. He said, no, as a young pilot, when he came back, he said, enough is enough. I'm going to do something for my people. Ghanaian said, the kind of Sierra Leone for come by paste. It was happening. You know why Ghana is thriving today? It's because John Jerry Rollins did the right thing to save his people. Guys, we should not tolerate this in Africa. You look at what is happening in Dubai. Population of almost 3 million, 2.8 of those, 2.7 of those pe million people, now foreigners, the way they work for the Dubai na the, the National Dem, the Qatar, all of these people. We see these things. Guys, let's be factual. Let's be real. These people don't deserve to suffer like this, Bo. Why do we have government? I want you guys to listen to this. This guy, they talk very fast, but I want you guys to listen to this. The head of state. He speaks very fast, but listen to this. I want you guys to listen to this. Is there a, is there a current head of state that you admire right now that you respect? Absolutely. The head of state. Of Dubai, the Sheikh of the United, the Sheikh of Dubai, United Arab Emirates, is absolutely and utterly hands down the best leader. His his vision is unprecedented. They built this idea of creating a city for the world, and that's exactly what they've created. Eighty percent of the population immigrants. No crime. You leave your door unlocked. Leave your car on. It's truly like a unique city. It's almost like Zion. It's escaped. It's escape the cesspit. Everybody respects the law and everybody respects the leadership. The leadership of Dubai walk through the mall. You'll see the king walk through the mall. Just walk through the mall, yeah, drive his car, no big deal. He has not to hide from his people like all the Western politicians. He doesn't need to hide behind guards. He's respected and loved by absolutely everybody. Guy's a complete genius. And the fact that he planned all of this and pulled it all off is, is unprecedented. It's truly incredible. And guys, I can I totally understand Dubai has a totally different kind of system, right? But it's working for them. We have the best system. We have a democracy where it should work for everybody. But look at the sufferings of our people. Look at these young guys. Look at this. Young, young energetic man. Good morning. Good afternoon. UAE president be able to tell you about human capital development. But look at these guys, young people like these. Good evening. It's not passing to blocks, so man. I come by some ah. survey in a memorial village by Saman Bendugu. Uh, I meet this young man 
you they suffer from a health issue. This young man since I come, when the pain, the grab the whole villages, the whole people that were in a village, they need to sleep. And uh, during the daytime, they want and they left now. So this young man meets me, and uh, he gets something for say. And here are his six marks. And I'm not telling this man, say, if you don't need to sign up for all man, anybody will receive this territory for me. So this is not very difficult to me, but they're not going to go put sign on the street and change not again. They don't talk and say, pass canna. They're falling away, then they can't, they don't go prove on the Holy Spirit, they say, pass canna. So now, Money not again for go family don't tire. Money we don't go, but we don't do. Money don't do. So nothing not again. For now, let me read for myself. So this man meets me at the strain, it's showing for me, he look to me condition, he then bend me as well, no problem. If you are yourself, you don't mean then send up. For no more some time, we will get a chance. Somebody come on showing for me. Anybody is showing for me, not a chance, let God bless her. So I pray God for all my anybody will see me there, sorry for me, for me, for me, for this problem. Yeah, see Pascal, only again for this one to this small one, you see Mara, me and Mohammed Mara. They are the car, they don't talk. They don't come with me. This boy, I will get this accident. And they try for me, I'll be students. If they try for me, don't go get this accident. I don't think I will go to free time. don't go to Kunos Hospital. We don't go to Church Round. Echo Med. They don't go prove us a pass. They go to your prison. You can make a grab again. Because this is Magra, they sit three sides, this is Futa, one group, this one sits, so they say pass to go to Tankana, Monilo again. They are, we they send this one to any good organization, any good Sorat person, any good proper government, they put some panels for where for no more air to be able come back in the position. They are, we make sure all the people there. Thank so Thanks now, to my all. Even for wet and able wet, pass and pass on to this Katata, for able wet. Right now. Okay. Guys, is this the kind of country that we want? Is this what we want? Hey, bro, this is not below, below talk too, guys. This is not for happen. Should not enough for happen again, bro. In 2022, for a country that can boast of every mineral resources in the world. 2022, this they happen. You look at the Auditor's General Report, look at what is happening in Sierra Leone, man. Look at the amount of money that is being stolen, guys. Hmm? Guys, look at the amount of money that is going missing. Hey, bo. This is not fair. This is not fair. Steven don't die. Steven, she said, that's his name. He don't pass away. I appreciate Couple that feedback. Ago. I definitely yeah, appreciate that yeah. feedback. It's so sad to know that so her brother proper. passed away. That's very, very Yeah, pathetic. he did. I know. You know it's so, very sad. Yeah, it's so, very so, sad. You know, for yeah, the first century, people are pathetic. suffering for minor minor things, you know, bleeding, hemorrhage, everything. It's just sad. It's, it's just sad. But um, thank you so much Appreciate for your that. efforts, your love, and everything we you do, okay? Thank you. Have a good night. All right. You okay, bye-bye. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Guys, guys, guys. Anyways, everybody. Oh, my God. You know, it's it's so sad, guys. It's It's terrible. It's terrible.